What's up friends? Today I'm going to take you with me to do some of my wedding checklist chores, things, whatever you want to call it. Um, we're going to be running around looking for some stuff, just some stuff to cross off that checklist so I don't have to do it later. I just got out of the shower, um, so I'm going to get ready. You guys remember my jelly cleanser from my skincare video. Um, I'm also going to use my moisturizer as well as my um, C Firma, my vitamin C serum. I actually mix the two, so I'll put a pump on there. And they just kind of mix it together and put it on together. Um, but yeah, we're actually going to go to a couple of stores today. Um, I'm going to go to like TJ Maxx, maybe Ross, to see if I can't find what's what I can't find. It's at, um, at TJ Maxx. Um, I'm also going to go to Michael's. Hopefully not more than one arts and crafts store. But if we have to, we'll go to Joanne's. Um, but I'm looking for a couple of things today. Um, I have this idea for our cocktail hour that I'm going to do a fun crossword puzzle, basically about Jesse and I. Um, so like, where did Jesse and Amanda meet? You know, what's their dog's name? Things like that. Um, I'm also using my eye cream because use eye cream twice a day. If you're over the age of 25, start using it. Um, there is a reason why my mother looks as young as she is because she is a psycho with her skincare, just like I am. So I, um very gently all around my eye and I cover my my um bra bone too that's what it's called it's been a day already um but like I said we're looking for a few things I'm also going to look for some champagne flutes because I honestly don't really like any of the like fancy like Mr. and Mrs. champagne flutes that I've seen so I'm actually going to make my own um with some stuff so let's go fit check let's go so I just got to the stores. Um, the idea is that I'm gonna get champagne flutes for me and Jesse, and then I want them to have pearls on them, but not like clusters. I want them to be like scattered. So I'm gonna DIY them. So let's see what we can find. I found these. There are six of them and I only need two. I also found these. They're stemless, but there's only four of them and are only eight dollars we're gonna put them in the cart for now i'm also buying this because how do i not i think i need this too never mind it was 17 dollars funnily enough this is the decor that i'm using for my wedding for the uh greenery and such i have big ones like this too i don't need any more though so i'm not gonna buy these See, this is why I hate TJ Maxx sometimes because I found this really cute marble picture frame for 10 bucks. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna go in the cart. God is really testing me today. Like, how do I not buy this? This is going in the cart. I think as much as I like these, I'm still gonna get the tall ones and I'll just make extra and sell them. All right, so it is later in the day. I had to come home, make dinner, do all the fun stuff, but I wanna show you guys what I got today. So the first stop was TJ Maxx to get some miscellaneous things and things that I may not have needed. Um, I got a bunch of picture frames that I thought might be really cool to put around the venue for um, like pictures of us, like our engagement photos. So like this one, it swivels. I probably won't put a picture on the back of it, but I just think it's cool. Um, and then like I got this one, so they match enough, but are like just different enough. Um, Cause we're doing gold accents. So I think having gold frames like this one's really cool. Just folds out. Um, I got a few of each of these so I can put them like one or two on the bar and like one on the guest book table and you know, kind of a smattering of them all over the place. I also got two matching plain white frames. They're eight by 10, I think. I don't know, sure. Um, that we are actually going to um, put photos from our parents' wedding days in them. Um, I don't know if I've told my mom this, so <laughs> this might be the way you find out. <laughs> um, but in our ceremony space, we have this really cute fireplace, um, and I'll add it so you can see it. Um, we have this really cute fireplace that it's a faux fireplace, like it has like electric candles in it, but it has um, a shelf not the word I want, but I can't think of the real word. So we'll think of it eventually. But I want to put a photo of my parents from their wedding day. And then Jesse wants to put a photo from his parents. And we'll put them up there like with us as we're getting married. So I just thought that was a cute touch that we can include 
our family's in it too. I did also find, I'm not going to show it on camera because it's gigantic, um, but I found a 24 by 36 frame that matches all of the other frames for like all of our signage, like our um, guest book sign, the bar signs, our seating chart, everything. And I'm going to make a giant crossword puzzle out of it for the guests to kind of do something uh, during cocktail hour. So I'm gonna get a dry erase marker so they can just kind of put it on the glass or the plastic. So that way it's not on the paper. If they mess it up, you know, they're not wiping it out. But I thought it might be a fun activity to do. And I'm gonna include some questions that some people might know, others might not. Like very specific questions, my aunts and uncles might only know the question to them. Others, my friends might know. So it kind of gets everybody working together, brain working. Thought it might be a fun idea. The last thing I got, which is really the whole reason I went out on my shenanigans today, was that I wanted to get champagne flutes for our first toast, for the toasts in the reception, um, but I didn't really know what I wanted. Nothing was really speaking to me, and I didn't really want to pay a lot of money <laughs> to get custom ones and then never use them again. So what I did was I ended up getting plain champagne flutes. I did end up getting the pack of six, um, so they're normal champagne flutes with the stems. Um, and I got pearl appliques. So I got these pearls from um, Michael's. Any craft store will probably have something like it. Um, they're sticky, but they're not sticky enough to stick to glass. So I ended up using E6000, which if you don't know what that is, it is like super duper glue, um, to stick them onto these glasses. And I made a set of wine glasses that have like pearls on them. I know you can kind of see my fingerprints on them, but I thought they were really cute and they're really simple. All of my jewelry is going to be pearl or, you know, like my earrings are going to be pearl. So I thought it'd be a nice touch. Um, but like they're super simple. And even if we don't keep them, um, that's okay. You know, like you can kind of see, it's kind of hard to see with the glare, but um, basically I just took these and I just think they're elegant. They're super simple. Um, and I think they're great. And then what I'll probably end up doing because I have four extra glasses, I'll probably make more and just see if people want them. You know, just post on the, you know, resale group or something and say, hey, like I have extra glasses if anybody would like these. Um, but I think all in all, we did a pretty good job today. One day I'm definitely gonna take you guys on a garage tour <laughs> so you can see um, kind of what I've got, what I've gathered, the idea, the vision um, that I'm thinking. And then hopefully soonish I'll be able to do another, or probably not one last, but another, tour of my venue so hopefully we can get some footage so you guys can see a sneak peek of what it looks like um and just kind of get an idea so that way I know what I'm doing because <laughs> I ha about half know what I'm doing right now I also did end up buying that Cinderella castle cookie jar for my house and Jesse if you see this no you didn't I don't have a whole lot left on my to-do list for my wedding um I'm gonna have to like make a big poster board for you guys so you can follow along and see <laughs> but um a lot of my stuff is done. A lot of my, you know, the, the big stuff is done for now. Um, I think next we'll probably be getting groomsmen gifts or like starting to gather that. Um, I have found their ties that I am going to get them or we're going to get them, I should say, but I'm going to get them. And uh, they actually match exactly to the shade what my bridesmaids are going to wear. So it's nice that they will match to a T and not kind of like meh, close enough. So it'll be pretty nice. But I will say... If groomsmen gifts are next, I'm not going to show them on here because I don't trust Jesse's groomsmen to not watch this video. So we're going to keep them secret for now. So really the only thing that I have coming up next is getting my dress. Um, it's ordered. It should be coming in within the next like month or two. Um, I don't know exactly when, but I think the next big thing is going to be scheduling my first alterations appointment just so they can kind of see how it looks on, make sure they order the correct size, because if they didn't for some reason, then they can have, they have time to order the correct size if need be. But uh, yeah, I think overall I'm uh, pretty good. I'm pretty solid on the uh, old to-do list for now. But thank you guys for sticking with me today on my shopping trip as I contemplated my entire life at TJ Maxx, because that's just who I am as a person. And that's what happens every single time I go in there to shop. But you know the drill by now. If you want to get a hold of me, you can find me on Instagram at that one ball chick, and you can send me an email at that one ball chick 412 at gmail.com, and I will happily answer either. Till next time, guys.